Inquisitor, thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. She was chasing Kirin? She said he activated the mirror somehow, and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Wait. This isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Alluvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Morrigan! Go back! I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now after all I have sacrificed, We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. There he is! Who's with him? That's... No. It can't be. Mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion? <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kirin is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. That's quite enough. You'll endanger the boy. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. <gasps> you... Armathal. Well, that was unexpected. You, of all people, should expect the unexpected by now. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman. Crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mithal inside you? She is a part of me. No more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald, indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth.
If Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves. To everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mythal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth, and I... I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mythal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says, long ago, you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mythal, that's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> Did you come here to make Morrigan serve you? Oh, what a servant she would make. Then what is it you want? One thing, and one thing only. I have to go now, Mother. No, I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Allah, oh, uh, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. <gasps> Twas the well. Always grasping beyond your reach, despite all that I taught you. You're going to steal the body of a young boy? If my daughter believes it, then it must be so. Kieran, I... As you wish, hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the lad and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, 
but I will not be the mother you were to me. dreams? No more dreams. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. Listen to the voices. They will teach you, as I never did. Wait! Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. <clears throat> she wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. You truly had no idea what she was. I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt. And doubt is... an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. Just be thankful you did not drink from the well. I am evidently tied to my mother... for eternity. So, Kirin had the soul of an old god. Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes, he has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now it is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. I must admit, I still can't quite believe what happened. It is as if something from ancient times stretched a skeletal hand into our present. Of course, the same could be said of Corypheus. Now we must prepare to face Corypheus himself. It seems Mother was right. The voices of the well tell me I will be able to match his dragon. All that remains is for you to find him. <laughs> 